China is a vibrant and memorable place. From dancing bears to street food to try the scorpion that bites back. I like it more than I wanted to. The stinger is delicious. A cultural fusion of ancient traditions and modern day advancements. But whether you're in Chengdu, Beijing, or Shanghai, those advancements have come at a cost. To see people with the, uh, the face masks. The haze you see hanging over the city has nothing to do with the weather. It's caused primarily by coal. This country is very serious about shifting a lot of its coal burning, which is about half the world's coal is consumed here. About 70% of their fuel for power gen is coal. They're very serious about shifting that to natural gas. That shift includes a non-binding partnership with the state of Alaska. A joint development agreement signed last November between the Alaska Gas Line Development Corporation, the Chinese oil and gas company Sinopec, a Chinese investment company CIC Capital, and the Bank of China. Sinopec will be the purchaser of LNG. Bank of China will be the lender to the project. And then CIC Capital would be the equity investor if they decide to invest. As it stands now, development of the roughly $43 billion gas line project would guarantee China 75% of the pipeline's capacity for roughly 30 years. And while there is not yet a final guarantee on investment or development, now it's really a matter of just paperwork. Optimism abounds. I put a very, very high probability on this, this project, I mean, in the, in the 90s. While Alaska and China acknowledge the partnership could be mutually transformational, at least publicly, excellent cooperation. Little progress has been made since the non-binding agreement was signed more than six months ago. Not really new, it's just an evolving, evolving process. It's a big project. and. Everybody's sort of sorting out what their particular role specifically is going to be. And despite recent one-on-one -on -one meetings, there were no new announcements, big or small, during the governor's trade mission to China. And as uh, everybody knows that uh, the AKLNG project is a uh, capital, highly capital intensive project and uh, the construction might be very complicated. But behind the scenes in Beijing, AGDC President Keith Meyer said communication remains strong. Well, we've had uh, uh, really people on the ground here or them over in Alaska uh, almost continuously without, without much of a break. A breakthrough in talks could also lead to a break in pollution, cleaner skies, and a new way to energize China. And for Alaska, a brighter horizon in the state's fiscal outlook and the promise of a new economic future.